All right, here we are with our friend Ollie, who's going to be our assistant doing a dishwasher replacement. This is a GE. We're going to put a Bosch in there. And it was only quite recently that my wife said to me, um, the dishwasher's broken. So I kind of looked at her puzzled saying, uh, you look fine to me, honey. Well, once I recovered from my injuries and could actually see through my right eye, I got online, did my research, found that the Bosch is the number one rated dishwasher. They have a 100, 300, 500, 800, uh, and then some high-end ones. So I got the 800. This one here, the GE, well, lasted maybe 10 years, 12 years, has a heating element. Let's check that. So you know you have a heating element when you have this down here, that big round piece that heats up. That's how it dries your dishes. Um, the Bosch uses condensation, so it's a different way. It's much more fuel uh, energy efficient. So I will probably save money at the rate of about 40, 50 bucks a year, I calculate, with the Bosch. So could almost pay itself. Not quite, but I think it's worth it versus getting a element heated. So here's the Bosch that got delivered just yesterday. The, you, I would imagine it comes with a box sleeve. I wasn't here that they take off so that you can inspect it through the clear plastic on all four corners. So kind of cool. Keep that box. Do yourself a favor. Give it to your kids. It'll be their best present they had since Christmas because they can go play outside in it. I have fond memories when I was about nine years old. After school, my friend's parents got a, a fridge delivered. So we took that box out front, rolled in the, uh, the storm or storm drain and laughed so hard, laughed and laughed and laughed until I peed my pants and had to leave early. True story. So that's probably why I remember it, because of the peeing part. <laughs> Anyhow, so um, when you get this, if you're going to Home Depot or Lowe's or Ace Hardware, make sure you pick up an install kit. Six feet should be plenty, because you're going to need the hose, the elbow. Eh, there's some plumber's tape in there too, so they think of all the things you'll need. Um, and or if you're buying online try to work that in as part of your deal say hey i've got your your same dishwasher elsewhere same price can you throw in the install kit and in here it says you need all everything you need it says a pair of gloves so well i've got my gloves out we'll see where that comes into play all right so let's uh let's get started i kind of did some pre prep here pretty simple underneath your countertop you're always going to find that it screws into two spots that all all dishwashers pretty much do that to hold it in place so i already unscrewed those i pulled it out an inch to make sure we can uh, get that done and ollie come on <whistles> so here comes ollie she is ready to help us install our new bosch dishwasher let's get started Oh, by the way, the dog, yes, that's a puppy. And, uh, you know, if you ever make a smart remark to your wife like I did, chances are you're going to have to buy her a puppy. I really bought the puppy for me. But um, in case she's an earshot distance, but get a puppy and then everything will be back in order. All right, let's get started. Okay, you're going to be a good helper. Can you pass me, when I ask for this screwdriver from Nest, can you pass it to me? Okay, good girl, like that. You'll pick it up when I say screwdriver. You pick it up and you just pass it over. Okay, no, 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 don't be scared of it. It's, don't be scared, it's just a screwdriver. Okay, just like that, you'll carry it over to me, okay? Let's practice that. Bring it to me. All right, Ollie, we've unplugged the power and the hose and the water. Can you help me? Let's pull this dishwasher out now. So I tied this string here. Come grab it and you're gonna pull that. Okay? This string right here. No, no, over here. Okay? Come on. Are you gonna cooperate with me? All right. I have an idea. Doing good, Ollie. Grab that string and keep pulling. You keep pulling it. There you go. Keep pulling it until you pull that dishwasher out. Good girl. All right, so let's get under the sink just to show you 
what we did. Three things ultimately. It's plugged in. We unplugged it. My drain is up there. You see that? So mine comes up to the top of the sink, so it'll come into the uh, garbage disposal through there, through that tube, to my garbage disposal. I do not have access directly into it. So if the garbage, garbage disposal is full, it will overflow, and it will pour out this little guy here into the sink. So I'm gonna keep that set up, and I have a dedicated water line here, so there's my hot and cold up there for the sink, but I have a line here that goes into the dishwasher. So we're gonna unscrew that and pull everything through this hole and use the same hole. Some people drill a hole up top to bring the, uh, the hose through there, the pump. Um, I'm gonna leave it down here, but I will hook it up there because you do wanna get it up high to create a trap. All right, let's keep pulling this thing out. So pretty, pretty easy getting it out. And if you did uh, get your dishwasher delivered and they didn't take away your old one, like me, you can call your um, the garbage company and let them know you have a one-time uh, appliance to throw away. Uh, chances are they approve you for one a year, maybe two. So you can leave it at the uh, bottom of the street and they'll pick it up. So pretty easy. We unscrewed the two up top got it out, unplugged the plug, the hose, and obviously the return hose from the pump to get all that dishwater water out. And obviously do not reuse these items. It's time, you know, if it's been 5, 10, 15 years, it's time to um, put in the new ones. And your dishwasher should come with that hose. Uh, as far as the water line, um, you'll have to buy one. So like I said earlier, buy the kit. All right, let's get this thing out of here and the new one in. All right, super easy to unwrap that, and guess what? You get some free lumber. I'm going to save that. You never know when those will come in handy. Put that in the garage. And everything is on the back. Oh, we spin that around. There is our instruction manual, so we'll get all that out right now. I'll even read it for you, so you can just watch the video, and I'll do the reading and install per the instructions. And Ollie, too, will read it with me. Okay, Ollie, you ready to read the instruction manual? Let's do it. All right, there's the instruction manual. And as you can see, we have it in English, uh, Francais, and uh, Espanol. So, if you're reading it in English, this is a two beer job. If you're reading it in French, this is a two glasses of wine job. And if you're reading it in Spanish, this is uh, two tequilas. And pretty much the job will get done but you're watching a video so you have no intention of reading this i'm your reader i'll install it i'll share all the tips <laughs> all right all right so the beauty here is this dishwasher just has a plug that i put on that side and it plugs into the wall so there's no junction junction box required with this bosch uh -huh. And then here, this is the elbow that we purchased, so that will not come with the dishwasher. You gotta buy that with your hose and your plumber's tape. So now we just installed that. You don't wanna go over tight because you could crack that plastic hose on the other side and over time uh, it could start leaking. So just do it hand tight, not over tight. And now we're gonna install this here with some of the plumber's tape just for good measure. And then we're gonna take all three cords, all three items, just like the old dishwasher had, put it through that hole and get it onto the other side of the cabinet. So let me attach this. This hose was already attached and we simply plugged that in. That's just the plug that goes uh, you know, for the power, very simple. All right, let me get that done. And Ollie is in charge of removing all the labels off of the hoses. For some reason, she just loves labels. So work on that. Get that label off, please. Good job. All right, so water line, hose, electric plug. It's going to my hole, so I'll keep fishing it through as we push this back. And I did find a purpose for two, two of those pieces of wood. So put them back there. So there's my three lines, my three cables that I need to be concerned about. So I'll keep fishing them through 
as I push this in. And one other thing is, before I do that, underneath here in the middle there, that circle, that's what will turn and lift or um, the, the rear feet to make sure this is level. So I'm gonna just make sure that turns. I'm gonna do it a couple cranks just to make sure it's not locked so that when we get back there, I don't have to pull it back out and fiddle with that. So that'll be cool for leveling. All right, let's start pushing this thing in. And as you're putting this in, you wanna make sure you put these clips, I'm gonna screw it underneath. So that's to make sure your dishwasher doesn't rock back and forth. So, and I might have to cut these. Um, so let's see, I'm gonna put it in and see how that sizes up. That's how the last one was installed, being secured from the top. Okay, here we are underneath, we've got it in there. My front uh, legs are raised on the tile and in the rear, it's at least uh, three quarters of an inch to half an inch down. So you adjust that with this. Simply, I'm raising it by turning it which is pretty awesome. Turning it up, or if you turn it this way, it's going down. But I was not level in the front, so I was like, well, that's a bummer. You can't adjust the right or the left rear leg, but you can here. So this is kind of cool. Just put your screwdriver in one of these notches and then just pull it this way. Be careful not to do too much damage. So there you go. That will effectively there we go and you pull it this way that will raise it and let's see now we're looking level perfect maybe a tad more no i think i got it a quarter turn and we've got it so that's how you adjust it oh and then that i was looking at this saying wait a minute there's some damage and of course my wife pointed out no there's plastic on it so we'll do that at the very end because that's obviously the fun part. All right, and now up here, I'm going to screw in my little stabilizer tabs. There's some existing holes. Well, I'll just have to drill a new one. So I will do that now, and then we'll plug in everything underneath the sink. Easy peasy, getting there. All right, so. I had to lift up the right hand side quite a bit, which eyeballing it looks great, but I wanted to get the trusty stud finder with also a laser leveler. And uh, I always need to make sure this is always working. So as a stud finder, let's see. Beep. Yep, it's still a stud finder. All right, so check it out. And I'm just checking with the cabinets because it matches that and it matches that. So that looks good to me. She's installed. We're ready to screw those uh, stabilizer screws now because we like where the position is. Okay, so we've got everything hooked up. That runs up high, comes back down, and we've got our water, so our dedicated water line, and I've put the plumbers tape around that, tighten it down good and tight. Then our hose goes up there, if you see it, to the left. And that clamp is real difficult. You're gonna use muscles you've never used before because you gotta get around all this stuff in the sink. So it's one of those clamps, here we go, that you gotta tighten down with a screw. So if you got a clamp lying around that you can just use a pair of, um, you know, vice grips, pliers, go ahead. Um, otherwise, that's really difficult, but got it done. So everything's hooked up, we're plugged in. I think we just put our kick plate in and installation will be almost done. All right, kick plate time. Okay, now we're gonna put the kick plate in. I already put the one bracket, but just to show you how this works, you find that hole and the bracket is pretty simple. It just slides in like so. Press it all the way in, and then when you bring the kick plate, the kick plate will go just right on top of that, and you find the hole and the level you want. I'm gonna keep mine flush 
on the ground and screw it in. Simple as that. All right, I'll do that now. And there's the kick plate in. Of course, make sure you get that rubber um, piece behind it. And I guess that's to make it even quieter. It's supposed to be 42 decibels. Oh yeah, now it's time for the fun stuff. We can shut that light off. Pulling off. Oh, sorry, that must be really loud. Stainless steel, looking great. And I think I scared Ollie when I did that. <laughs> Voila. Great job, thank you for all your help. It's installed, and uh, of course, don't forget to register. So, it comes with a card, you can register, protect your dishwasher. And I did find additional purposes for those pieces of wood. I'm using one of them to hold up the water hose and the drainage and um, I'm gonna keep my manual back there and I'm gonna load up the rest of the stuff that goes in here and let's see power we've got power so they have a quick start book just to read the different cycles but I think this is one of the main reasons to get an 800 because you get the crystal dry and what that does is again this is condensation there's no heating element there's some side pieces you see there that piece on the side and there's one that just that one it helps uh, draw out the condensation um, at the same time and then all the condensation gets attracted to the side walls and drains out or with the crystal dry it sucks it out so they say some of the most advanced technology in dishwashers did my homework and this is the one that gets the job done the best here in california we do have uh hard water so yeah, white calcium sometimes you see that in the dishes so as long as we use the finish dry use this bosch i think that problem is over um, that we did experience with that GE Cafe um, dishwasher. So thanks for tuning in. Ollie has her own channel, which I'll, I'll put, here you go, there's a treat for you. Good girl. So Ollie has a channel where I show puppies when we first got her and I'm gonna share some videos of firsts for her. But she's a great dog. That's a Shetland sheep dog. So I'll put a uh, in the description below, but subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, if you're installing a dishwasher, share in the comments, you know, what brand you did or, you know, any things you ran into uh, or any questions. I do answer questions that are in the comments. But thanks for tuning in. Thanks to Ollie and good luck with your dishwasher install and learn from me. Don't say what I did at the beginning. So thanks for tuning in and hope you enjoyed the video. And subscribe. I'll have other little videos here and there. And we'll have Ollie as our assistant. Thanks, Ollie. Say bye to everybody. Good girl. Bye, y'all.